one way to cluster data without specifying an a priori number of groups is to build a map of the full structure of the data. You can do this by recursively linking pairs of groups into larger groups in order of the distance between them. Initially, each observation is its own group. Each linkage coalesces more observations into larger groups until all the data has been linked into a single group. This sequence of link information is most easily digested visually using a dendrogram. Each connection represents a link between a pair of groups, with the height of the horizontal bar representing the distance between the two groups it connects. Moving up, the dendrogram shows the full structure of the nested groups. However, with many observations, the full dendrogram can be difficult to visualize. Therefore, by default, MATLAB shows only as far as 30 groups at the bottom level. Having created the dendrogram structure, you can visually see potential groupings by looking for relatively large distances between all the groups and using that level of the nested structure as a cutoff. Note that hierarchical clustering requires calculating the distance between groups of any number of observations. So how is this distance defined? There are many possible definitions, and each will produce a different overall hierarchical structure. By default, MATLAB uses the smallest distance between any two points in the two groups. But you can also specify other methods for defining distance, such as using the center of each group. Regardless of which method you use, you can also specify which metric you want to use for measuring distance, such as the default Euclidean distance or city block distance.